What's up, bro? Ancora, che c'è? Che c'è, piccole? I'm hypnotized with the dog, guys. Gluten free also food for, for your precious dog. Hi, my name is Kelly and I am following my dream, which is Kelly music. Yeah. This is a Lamborghini, guys. Ah, così per vedere se qui c'è qua diciamo. Yeah, yeah. So about uh, which Christ we are talking about here? I don't see Christ here in this hell. And yet they say that Christ wins, Christ rules. Ah, i scarabocchi ci stanno, tipo sì. questi. Scarabocchi. Oh. And humanity was saved so they say hey guys look at this shit this is how you should shake hands the Templar's cross and the Italians <laughs> oh man what is this friendly guy here this is the Christ in power hey guys what's up these are blueberries guys but unfortunately I'm not ripe yet I'm here in a countryside in Italy and I wanted to tell you about how they keep the slave doing what they want. The system, for example, here in Italy, even though you might have lots of land, you can grow only grains, olive uh, tree, grape, you know, for, for wine. All the rest, it's impossible to grow. Whatever is that can help and make the slave healthy, it's not possible to grow here in Italy because they will harass you with the laws and they will not make you sell th that stuff. You know from time to time here in the countryside you can see uh, fruit trees. Here for example we can see some fruits but uh, it, it just takes this small patch of land. The most of the land is used for monoculture. The system imports food from Morocco for example or from other places which cost very cheap and so in this way indirectly they make you not grow this stuff which is good for you C can you uh, see now how perfectly the system is set up so that we can eat only toxic food in italy everything that grows is not organic guys very few people grow organic stuff when you see sometimes some fruit it's just for themselves they cannot sell it because to sell fruits you must have a license you know a license to kill you know you must be a professional killer. Even though this fruit here is not, it's not organic, it's hundred times better than the shit that, that comes from China or from Morocco or from uh, whatever. Uh, the shit that they sell in supermarket, which is uh, uh, toxic as hell, you know, that is good for you because they approved, you know, and you're an approved killer, you know. But if you grow something in your own way, maybe without poison, you will not get the license, guys. They do not realize that this is a program to slowly kill them. They have all the land in the world, and they have mountains which, which can grow all kinds of food. Look at the expensive gear you need to, uh, to grow grains. The grain that they grow today, it's not the same that you, we used to grow. Because it's ha it has too much gluten, it's not digestible. Uh, because they, they, they just grow it faster without caring uh, about quality, you know? And so it's very toxic for your, uh, for your health, the way they grow it now. And so, uh, but this is f fantastic for the system because they can uh, uh, slowly poison people, which will only take drugs then, medicine, which is uh, toxic, uh, will keep them dumb also, because when you eat uh, shitty food, you, you, will, uh, you get dumber and dumber. You will vote for Trump then, or whatever, it's not important, I'm not against Trump or against whatever it's, it's just that you will not understand that they are fooling you so this keeps the, the you know all the cancer the medicines and everything everything going you know they eat with this ignorance of the people you know I'm, uh, I'm going to make this journey I don't know how it will go yesterday it was the longest day of the of the year you know and you know, the, it should be very cold, very uh, hot, you know. Before leaving uh, yesterday, I, I said to my mother, did you see the, the weather prediction, how, how they were, uh, weather forecast, how do you say? 
Uh, and she told me, she told me, you know, it's okay, it, it will be sunny tomorrow. But unfortunately, it's rainy. <laughs> and so, but, but the problem is that uh, uh, we trust uh, blindly uh, even people that we think <laughs> uh, will, will never uh, do something bad for us. And of course, I'm not saying that my mother did it on purpose, but uh, I, I link this thing uh, to the fact that people today, for example, uh, trust blindly what the, the experts say to them. And what happens is that uh, you get, you know, like me, for example, I will make this journey and it's completely cloudy, unpredicted, you know, I trust my mother, even though I should always remember that uh, just taking an umbrella on my bag, it's not heavy, you know, and can help you to not wait when it's raining, for example. But this is, this is the problem. I paid for not having to think or to do the thing by myself. For example, I have uh, three sites that I check if I really want to be sure that, uh, how the weather will be. Of course, that will take a little bit of time, but since I, I didn't took the time and I trusted my mother, I took the shortest route and uh, I'm now paying for that. And this is why we also pay today with all the hell the sea around us, because we trust we let do someone else what we should do, okay? And we pay the consequences of that. 15 kilometers later, uh, I found these guys. They were very open to me and they, you know, tell, told me that, uh, you know, we were working, you know, I was 13 when I worked for the first time and you'd have no idea what I did, you know? You know, his shoes would melt on the ground when he was working him as he said he was 13 years old 13 anni ci avevo ero un bambino per, per chi lavoravi per chi per, per, per me per chi eh no, che, che cosa facevi al lavoro il garzone il garzone che fai ok quindi eh, io, io penso che chiunque lavori per qualcun altro è uno schiavo eh, no no <ride> no perché ho fatto i miei eh però è come il soldato ecco che dice, eh sì, abbio, no, ho preso, perché, sono, ecco stato, però, sono stato pagato. Ecco però perché siamo arrivati a questo punto, perché hai detto bene te, chi lavora per l'altro è un schiavo. Ma che cazzo dici? Tu, eh. tu me, tu, io devo al lavoro e tu mi paghi, basta. I was a slave since I was 13 years old. And you young generation should suffer like we did. Io da piccolo piano, adesso voglio ridere. You know, in, uh, during summer my shoes my shoes would melt on the ground because of the heat, you know? Mi si attaccavano sopra le lamiere perché il sole le faceva diventare calde, bollenti. Io stavo lavorando ora sopra queste lamiere e le scarpe mi si squagliavano e dentro le scarpe c'erano i piedi miei. <laughs> oh, no. Questo era d'estate. D'inverno mi si attaccavano lo stesso sul ghiaccio. E on the contrary, on the winter, the opposite, the, the shoes would, would freeze, and, and it was very hard, yeah, I imagine, it was very hard, man. And I was trying to point out to them that, you know, this is, uh, this can very, very well be uh, considered as slavery, what you old guys did, but yet, you seem to be very proud of what you did. I was 14 15 years old, and I was in Sicilia, 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 54 anni fa porta Madonna, no? la prima volta che è scappato da casa. Io a 16 anni ho portato... 12 ore al giorno, no, tutto su, io porta Madonna, no? Il Venturini ha montato su i pienini. Ah, eh. ah, invece di dire ammazza mi hanno inculato, ho fatto lo schiavo, vi è vantato pure. No, perché ma scu... fanno schiavo? Perché ah, fanno schiavo? Que pagato, quello, no? quello è schiavi tu. Ma hanno pagato, ma hanno pagato. Eh, ma hanno pagato, pagato, però è sempre schiavi tu. Pigliamo... You know, uh, they program the sheep to be proudful about being a slave, you know? of suffering at work and everything. When you are a slave, the more slave you are, the more proudful you should be. Okay? The more dumb you are, the more proudful you should be. You are in passato e adesso mi permetti lo passino anche gli altri come l'ho passato io. Ciao ragazzi. You know why sheep you don't have this hate uh, you, you, you don't want uh, the people at the top to suffer like you do, but you, you wish this this hell to us? Why sheep? Who programmed you this way, ship? You know, there are billionaires that do nothing.
They have money just because they have money, you know, they make money with money. And yet, they don't work. Why don't you have the same hate for them, sheep? Sheep, who programmed you this way, sheep? You should work like an animal. Look how the animals suffer. Okay, but at least the animal is working for him, him or herself, you know. We have a brain, you know. We are not animals. We can work better than this. This is the Italian youth, guys. He is a Nike boy. Nike shoes, Nike socks, Nike brain. Programmed by the elite, ACDC. Oh, new ship coming, look at that. So trendy ship, yeah. Here I found another Nike boy, guys. This is another one, look. Nike boy. Socks, everything Nike. Oh yeah, uh, this one is a philosopher, he, he just watches soccer. Yeah, look at this shit guys. I'm almost at the top of a mountain now and you can see lots of antennas here. Electricity is very important guys to control the mind of the slave. With this put television everywhere, you know, and with that in the back that would be with 5G and everything would be to control the brain uh, better than with television. When they say for example the uh, uh, European Union is investing for rural uh, uh, zones uh, Regione Umbria, which is uh, the region we are right now, this is the logo of Regione Umbria, and this is the logo of, of the of the thugs guy. You know, they call themselves Italians, but they all um, take orders from higher up. You know, they're trying to make all these places, uh, this uh, and, and uh, parks and everything. Uh, for, uh, for example, from the 90s here in Italy, they started to uh, to protect all these uh, green areas okay and so because the plan is to soon uh, say for example to people that you know since this, uh, this uh, since this is a protected area uh, you cannot enter anymore here and soon the only areas that will be avail available for, uh, for us to live will be just the concentration camps of the of the city, big cities like Rome, Milan, and all these uh, shitty places, you know, where everything you have lots of cameras and everything, when you can control the ship, you know. That's why I'm making all these travels and all these visiting all these places because it will be impossible soon to travel. You have to show an ID, for example, uh, to uh, to the place where you sleep. Okay, so uh, these IDs were used to be all in paper like this, you know. I don't want to show you my details, but anyway, it's paper, you know? But more and more, they are turning to this, into this shit here, okay? Okay, all with microchip, you know? And soon it will be impossible, for example, they will say to you, do you have a microchip? Uh, do you have a microchip? Sheep? No, I can uh, give you a place to, to sleep, for example, and it will be impossible to travel. Because where, where, where are you going to sleep? You know, that uh, shower, you know, is uh, the most important thing when you, when you are traveling. If you don't take a shower and they are hunted by mosquitoes, for example, you can't... Uh, this place is hell in summer. You know, okay, you can travel, uh, especially at night. Because during day, mosquitoes do not attack you that much. But uh, when it's... Uh, when it's dark, they hunt you, you know. You cannot live in a tent, for example, or, or just, you know, I, you cannot uh, sleep outside, for example, it's, it's impossible. And so it would be impossible to travel, guys. For example, they might say, you know, you are not a good slave, you are not, you, you, it's, it's, it's been too long since you have uh, last worked, so uh, this is not good. Sheep, you cannot travel, sheep. You cannot take a hotel. You cannot do nothing, sheep. Because you are not a good sheep. This is progress, guys. This is deception. And deception is needed uh, to hunt the prey. This is why also our predators use deception. Here, for example, up we can see that it says Appostamento Fisso di Caccia Ordinario, Provincia di Terri. Uh, so it's a fixed uh, spot where hunters, just as, as, as freaky 
uh, dummies stay behind there and and just shoot at uh, at birds at poor birds you know and so the you know in in this earth we are three kinds of people guys you either are one of them you either are prey or you are someone that tries to to respond back to these hunters the majority of people are just background noise guys background noise is just prey they do nothing whatever you tell them they will not fight for example they would write me in, in the comments and everywhere they will tell me you know uh, don't uh, don't do such things uh, Marcel because uh, otherwise uh, they, they might do something to you dude if you don't do something this prison that we are living is slowly getting smaller and smaller when you feel their pressure the pressure of these hunters on you it means you are bothering them and so it means you are doing something otherwise if they if no one bothers you you know like some truthers here in youtube say, say that they are truthers you know but they, they don't don't want to, to be bothered and this is not a war for them it just I, i'm a truther uh, for a hobby you know like when I have spare time, I'm, I, I'm a truther, you know. No, man, you are background noise. Background noise. Nothing. You know, there are the protagonists, the, the main characters in the movie, the good, the bad, and there is the only those that just appear. They, they are nothing. Most of people are, are just like that. They have to use deception because they don't have the same power as us. For example, an animal that has power starts and without deception just go and gets the, the prey, you know? No deception at all. But when you are small, like the serpent, for example, you can kill a, a, a big animal, uh, much bigger than you, uh, with deception or and many other small predators do this. This shows that uh, most of us uh, need to be deceived because our nature is good. I'm not saying that I'm advocating for for a revolution or for or for something violent because that our state of our mind right now is that of a slave the slave just loves the chains you know and so in this state that we are right now we will just create another uh, monstrosity for a system so i'm not advocating for for violence uh, what i'm saying with all this what i want to say is that deep inside all of us know when we are doing something wrong but we do it just to you know just to get to not get bothered with uh with being harassed you know by the powerful you know at job and, and everywhere you know we do it just so that everything goes as it should you know and so uh, to, to not have problem you just obey you know but deep inside you know that there's something wrong there and uh, i think this is because uh, our nature is created by, by our creator, guys, guys. And if you see the complexity and the, uh, and the beauty of nature and everything, you would see that our creator is good and has put in our nature this goodness. And so the only solution, in my opinion, is that uh, if, we, if we, each of us, on our everyday life, uh, sacrifice a little bit of comfort by fighting for what we think is right for example i'm not saying we should uh, go and make something violent but just uh, stand on your what you think is right for example just small things at first you know and uh, i think if each of us did something like this the result uh, will be manifested in uh, in the world so no violence no anything but uh, just don't seek every time comfort uh, this is one of my main things that i am trying to say in all my videos is try always to go for the harder route because all the time we have it's, it's like this you have the shorter route which leads you to a trap you will pay soon for that uh, for, for taking that route and there is the longer route which is harder but we'll, uh, you will uh, see the benefits and, uh, later. This is the, the software I'm using. It's all free, open street maps. Great software, all free, all online, open source, you know. And this is the only thing I use the smartphone. I am in airplane mode, so I don't get radiation and everything. Just some beeps when I turn on the GPS 
to, to see where, I'm, where am I, but I don't leave it always on, you know. So uh, this thing has all, all, even the, sh the smallest trucks are all listed here, you know. And so, um, but I will always ask to uh, farmers, to people uh, we, we, uh, that I encounter, because they might know something that uh, uh, these guys that have made the, these trucks do not know. And so that might be helpful. But what happens all the time, the sheep, since the sheep is weak, usually 90% of the time they will tell me to not do a certain route, for example, because they would say, no, it's dangerous, it's dangerous. But almost all the time, I, since I know the nature of the sheep that only wants to take the, the biggest route, you know, the, the easiest route, I know. But you win if you take routes uh, that uh, are hard to do. And for me, this is not hard. I mean, I, I made some sections which were harder than this, but, uh, you know, you will get to places like this. And so, just take these guys, take also the information of, of people around you, but then decide for yourself knowing that the sheep will always tell you that uh, no no you can do that bah, bah. i'm a sheep i would never do that bah, bah. here also we can see deception guys the farmer provides food and uh, you know the cow thinks oh he's so good with me he really takes care of me gives me food otherwise i have to move on everything anytime i want i come here my farmer works for me. I cannot hide their private parts, but hey, hey, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, you know, if you trust the farmer, if you let someone else do the job for you, uh, then you'll have to pay sheep. Look where is this place, guys, it's like 600 meters high. Very nice place. And now I'm going to this little town because uh, I saw there is a fountain here, it says on the GPS, so I can drink some water. Even though it's, it should not be uh, uh, spring water, and, uh, but uh, the, as soon as I leave this small town, uh, there will be a point where, I will, uh, where there is uh, spring water, which is very good. So, but since I don't know if there is water on that spring, uh, it's better to fill the wa with water here first, because you never know. I just found a wild cherry. Oh, uh, not very nice, but hey, it's free. This is spring water, guys, and so it's very good. And now I will throw away the the water that that I feel that that is full of uh, fluoride, and I will fill it with this one. That even though it might look ugly here, it's this is the best water you can find. You know, they want the resources to be uh, uh, scarce. You know, so that uh, people will defend the matrix. Because it's like you know you are in a desert. They have made Earth a desert, and I, and I'm sure of this. We will find the proofs that this Earth can can uh, give us free food and free water and everything. But they have controlled it they have the power to to make it desolate uh, to, to poison everything and to make everything scarce so that they the sheep the only way to survive of the sheep is to defend the, the the matrix the cage and that's why the people will come and break your balls you know in your channel telling well, it's good to be a sheep it's good to be a sheep you know I know it's good to be a sheep it's good to be a sheep if you are in a desert, for example, and someone offers you a drink of water. Of course, I, I would love that person. But we never understand that that desert is created by, by man. This place was intended for, our, for us to be like this. Like this. Okay? But this is just... They will soon close even this uh, small uh, spring waters, which is uh, free now, I'm sure. Hey guys, I had to stop to take a picture of this because it's really trippy. The sun is burning me right now, but I had to stop to... I've never seen a flower like this. Beautiful. So here we go. I'm uh, in a city 
very old city called Narni, guys. Yeah, this is good for you. Come to Narni, guys. It smells very good. The bridge are not very safe in Italy, guys. One huge bridge just fell in Genoa. The elite wanted that, of course. And used uh, explosions, you know, like in 9-11. Of course, a few ships died, but hey, we need problems. So that we can fix, can come up with a solution. Let's see the state of the ship here in Narni. È bellissimo avere qualcuno con cui essere scemi insieme. It's beautiful to have someone um, with whom uh, to be dumb. Viva l'amore, viva i gay. Viva it's, uh, you know, yeah, go gay, go love. Just have fun. The perfect slave, guys. You know, th there could be so much one could write in the wall. But hey, this is what they, just fun and just a bit dumb. Here's another um, uh, philosopher who has written uh, more beers, less cups. Squirt and Peroni. Peroni is a beer. This is the state of the dumbest guys, unfortunately. In the station here, just here in hip hop, uh, which says to him that you know you should be. Oh, he will get his friend, is, which is a Nike boy also. He is a Nike boy. And uh, you know, they're just like this. If you want to take a seat, no. You should stay standing because this dummy. Here's a Nike boy, guys. Look. All Nike. These are fucking dumb, guys. Fucking dumb. This is the damage they, they have done with this dumbest. Look at this dummy here smoking. Look. This guy just asked me for if I had a coin, you know, to give to him. They're fucking dumb, guys. Look. Just smoking. Completely gone, guys. Completely gone. Now look another generation. These are Italian, but they are, you know, they can control themselves just because they have, uh, uh, they are born in another year. But here's what you get if you are born in this year. Smoking, buying only Nike shoes, standing like this in the station, listening to hip-hop music, which, uh, which tells you to be a bad motherfucker, but never to touch people in power who have made you like this always be mean you know and you know I have a theory about the, all this uh, this thing about you know uh, they push you know all these uh, movies and all this uh, music and hip-hop and everything to so that or for example uh, to, to be mean to the police as uh, uh, Kurt has said but my theory is this they want this because when people are mean to the police, so with, with movies and everything, they portray bad uh, the police. And what happened? This dumbest sooner or later will attack the police. And this is exactly what the, the system wants, guys. Dumb people that do dumb shit so they can fix the problem later. Uh, hi, officers. Um, we had a flat tire back there. Do you think you guys could help us out? Nah, that's not my job. My job's not to help your fucking ass out. I mean, um, you know, I don't have any other way to get home. That's not my job, asshole. Well, uh, could you tell me what your job is? Right now, my job is eating these donuts. Or maybe... Hey, wait a minute. Aren't you? <laughs> yeah. Body count. Body count. Body count. Yeah, Body motherfucker! Count. Body count. Body count.